Oh, I have only floating inductor only. <laughs> okay, simulate. Uh, but let's uh, talk about the floating inductor first. Yeah, floating inductor can be, yeah, this is a grounded inductor, right? One node is connected to ground. Yeah, floating inductor is, uh, uh, say, uh, a gyrator notation is this one. Yeah, this is uh, my gyrator. Now, it has uh, some polarity, right? Oh, oh. Polarity GM. GM1. Then this means uh, see, if I if I have uh, something like uh, uh, if, if I put cu current polarity like that, then let's just see what's my gyrator. Yeah, then uh, this I1, I2 should be something like uh, is this correct or not? GM1 minus GM1 0, 0, V1, V2. It is correct. I1 equal I1 equal GM1 V2. Yeah, I think that's good. I2 equal minus GM1 V V V1. Okay, I think this is correct. So if I change this polarity I2 there, in this way this should be positive, right? Okay. Because I change the I2 by minus I2, okay? Okay, so here see, uh, we already uh, saw that uh, if I connect uh, uh, a uh, capacitor here, and this is uh, GM1, so let's just see, I have something like that. This is I1, I2. Then this one is a grounded inductor. Say L equal GM1. Or actually GM1, I, I, I use two, two, uh, sorry, the other way around. So we, we could implement this gyrator by GMC. So how does it look like? So by, by this polarity, I must put positive sign here. Okay. You know this is this is my V1. And then this is V1, this is I1, and then this is grounded. Eh? Okay. Then so this is V2 and this is uh, this is I2. This I2. Yeah. I2. Oh, let's just see. And this thing is connected to minus input, right? So this is a GM1, the same GM1. Yeah, this is my gyrator, okay? Yeah, if I put two gyrators in series, like uh, I have one gyrator here, Yeah, it goes this way, GM1. Okay. And then I have another gyrator there, the same thing, GM1. If I put a floating capacitor, uh, I mean grounded capacitor there, yeah, they are all grounded. Then, uh, this is V1, I1, V2, I2, then it's, uh, uh, it becomes a floating inductor. So I used the, the same the same gyrator, okay? The same gyrator. Mm, let us see, is it working or not? Yeah. So let us see. So uh, 
I need to calculate the I1, I2. I1, I2 should be the same, right? So uh, in this uh, right-hand side model, see my, uh, my I1 must be same as I2 and should be, uh, it's something like that, right? Okay. It must satisfy this equation, right? Yeah, let's look at the, uh, this, this, this uh, uh, circuit. Mm, let's see. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, what's, what's this current? Mm, this current should be, oh, is it, let's look at this one. What's this current? Oh, yeah, this current is only GM times uh, V1. Is it right? Yeah, GM times V1. Okay. Yeah, this current is uh, uh, GM times V1. And then what's this current? Mm, that current is uh, I1 here, right? Which is uh, GM times V2, okay? This current is uh, GM times V2. And then what's current flowing into this capacitor? Uh, let's just see. This is Vx, right? Mm. Okay. So this is Vx. What's Vx? <coughs> My Vx is... Uh, 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 just uh, 1 over SC times uh, the current. Current is uh, only GM1 V1 minus GM1 V2, okay? Then what's I1? Yeah, my I1 is uh, just GM1 Vx, right? Okay, what's my I2? Yeah, my I2 is uh, GM1 Vx, right? Oh, that's good. And then, so I substitute uh, this Vx there. Then this is uh, uh, I1, I2 equal 1 over Sc, Gm1 square times uh, V1 minus V2, okay? So if I compare this equation uh, with uh, that equation, so my inductor is only uh, C over Gm1 square, right? So I achieved my uh, floating inductor. Question. No? No question. All right, no question then. OK, let's uh, look at the, uh, oh yeah, this is the implementation of a floating inductor. I have a V1 here. And then V2 there, you can see this is a, a, a gyrator. See, because uh, the direction of a transconductor is uh, here. Uh, this is somehow GM2, GM1. Mm. So I just, uh, I, I just make a simplicity all GM1. All GM1, GM1, GM1. If, if, if this is a GM1, uh, GM2, GM1, say, Oh, the, that, then my inductor is a C over GM1, GM2, okay? But for simplicity, we just put GM1. Then you see, this V in is connected to positive input node, right? This, uh, uh, this Vx, actually this is Vx. Vx is connected to connect minus input node, right? So here you see, this Vx is connected to plus input node, right? Although yeah, it changed the position. And then this, this, uh, this V2 is connected to minus input node. So this is another gyrator in this direction, okay? GM1, right? The same, exactly same, same gyrator, you know, in the same, same direction, okay? Yeah, so, uh, so to implement the inductor of uh, 0 0.159 Henry, then uh, if we assume this capacitor is the same 7.96 nanobarat, the, the same grounded, grounded capacitor, CP1, CP3, then my GM1, GM2 is calculated to be 0 0.224 millisecond. I mean, millisiemens. Okay. 
Yeah, this is uh, that uh, uh, netlist. So I have a, a gyrator N1, N2. So this, this, uh, this gyrator thing is uh, just this one. This is uh, a grounded, one-sided grounded. So this is N1, N2. So my GM uh, goes from N1 to N2, OK? So it says, uh, what is this thing? 1M. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, oh, this is only, uh, uh, you can see this is a gyrator. This is a, a transconductor. Yeah, this current, uh, this transconductor, 0 to N2, right? 0 to N2, say, uh, current flows from ground to N2 node, right? Like that. Then this uh, this is uh, this one millisiemens times V N one. Actually, this is V N one, right? N one zero. This is a controlling branch. This is a controlled branch. So this is the G one. And then what is G two? G two uh, current flows from zero to N one. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, so this N two is connected to minus input node, right? So this current is uh, minus 1 gm uh, Vn2, because this is uh, 0 minus Vn2, right? So this is my gyrator, OK? Then, see, I put my gyrator here. See, this is my gyrator N1. Th this thing becomes Nx this time by this uh, sub-circuit expansion. Nx, this is Nx. And then and this NX uh, ground, uh, I put a grounded capacitor of, uh, oh, this time this is one microvolt. <laughs> How come? One microvolt. Yeah, one microvolt. And then, uh, let's just see, uh, th there is another gyrator here, X2 gyrator, right? NX2, NX2, uh, N2. Is it N2? Yeah, N2. And then this 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 uh, goes in the same direction, okay? Uh, this is one millisiemens, right? Same direction from N X to N two. And then I put current source here A C one. Oh no! Yeah. Somehow I put current source there. Huh? Say this current source is zero to N one. Oh yeah! I put current source here A C one. This is uh, one exponential j omega t. This current is applied there. And then I have another current. This is N to zero. You know, I have another current there, N to zero. Okay. This is another AC1 current. So current flows in. I want to watch the voltage drop between N1 and N2. Okay. <gasps> then, say, to, for, for that purpose, I used a voltage controlled voltage source. I generate N12. Say, what's N12? This is N1 minus N2. Oh, yeah, it's easy. So N12 node, I have a, a voltage-controlled voltage source, which gain is 1, Vn1 minus Vn2. So if I watch Vn2, which is a voltage drop between N1 and N2, right? Yeah, this is Vn1 minus Vn2. So sometimes I need a, see, a caution is uh, I need a dummy register. See, if my input is a zero, uh, those nodes are uh, uh, floated, you see. So I use the huge register there at every uh, output node, <coughs> huge register. It doesn't affect the circuit performance, OK? So for DC wise, some problem. I put there, there, all three point. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, try uh, sigma spice here. Oh yeah. 